what's going on YouTube is Tweezy Inferno. So it's after Nationals, and there's a, I know there's still two months, but there's no big events coming up, so we're going to talk ban list. Now, um, uh, my ban list is, I don't think it's going to be 100% accurate, of course, um, but I really think that there's a lot of ideas to touch on in this, and it's just really a mode of conversation with you, conversation with you guys, just to see what you guys think. So, um, if you don't agree with anything, you can write in the comments, but you don't have to be like blasting it, like, oh, that's so stupid, but you know what I mean? It's just, we're just going to have a conversation here, and this is, there's just my ideas. So, let's get started. Um, ban list right here. I'm going to start with Future Fusion. It's going to get banned. Um, it's just too powerful. Dragons can freaking OTK you with it. They don't even need to bring out the five headed. It's just like a little bonus. Um, they just fuel their graveyard instantly, and that's just amazing. Future Fusion also works well with heroes because they're going to get the dark hero. And I know there's some loops with it, like with Zephyros, among other things. So um, I think Future Fusion is going to get hit. Uh, next card, I just think heroes are just going to be overpowered because of the dark hero coming out. So I think Stratos, Elemental Hero Stratos should be banned. A lot of reasons. First, it's a huge plus one. Upon summon, it's 18 beater, which is not that small. And when it's summoned, you get a free hero to your hand. Um, it also has that other effect, which no one really thinks about, but it has the effect to pop an amazing ton of back rows. Like, you just pop back rows with it. Um, and... The reason being is because if you have reinforcement and three e-calls already, I don't see why you you should have a Stratos to also recruit. Like that's just amazing. So you like veil your Stratos and they're like, okay, e-call, e-call, and you're like, okay, that sucks. Like you know what I mean? You don't Stratos is just overpowered, and I think they have enough resource. Uh, heroes have enough resources to get the monsters that they need. That they don't need another plus one like that. Um, and the last card I have right now, I know it's not 4 or 5, but um, right now I don't think there's too many cards that need to be really banned. Uh, but Mind Control is just really good. You can take any monster from your opponent, attack them from game, uh, like with your other monsters. Like if they, have, if they have anything, like a stall card or anything like that, monster, like a Reaper or a Marshmallow, these Mind Control, attack for game. Or you can take any, like any of their monsters and exceed, because exceeds are like everywhere now. So, like, I just think Mind Control is really broken, and it should get hit. Now to 1. Um, these I sort of mentioned for last format, but um, I guess, you know, we'll talk about it again. Uh, Royal Oppression to 1. I think Oppression is really important. Um, it stops dragons. I mean, like, they're not maining MSTs, so it stops dragons, it stops rabbits, it stops a lot of decks. It stops them from being too overpowered. So, I like... I just really believe that Royal Oppression should be, um, should come back to one. And it's balanced. With three MSTs, I think, um, one Oppression should be fair. Now, the, the Synchros. I think Goyo or, and or Trishula should come back. Reason being, Goyo, I know, is a 2800 beater, but, like, um, in this XYZ format right now, if they take an XYZ monster, it, they can't even use it, most likely. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, they can't even use its effect because it has no materials. So people people keep trying to tell me, oh yeah, if you go to Guardian like a what like whatever an exceed, then you can use its effect. I'm like, oh uh, yeah, but it has no material because I went to the graveyard, so all the materials fell off, and then Goyo takes it, and then it's like, okay, so you can't use its effect. So um, I think Goyo is. It, it could come back, and if Repression comes back too, then honestly, like, I think Goyo's pretty fine. And Trishula, I mean, it's still a really good card, and I feel like um, it's pretty devastating if it goes off, but there's so many Baylors right now, and also the the main pieces that used to, to help it come out, Glowbulb and Spore, are not in the game. Like, the probably the one deck that can make it the easiest is actually um, what's, uh, Samurai, and that actually costs them three cards, like a... Kageki into Kagamushin to Kizan is a Trishula, but that's three cards to make that Trishula to minus you technically three cards. And if you bail them, they just sort of fizzle and that sucks. So I really think Trishula should come back. Now, another hit to the dragons, I think Red Eyes Darkness Metal should get hit. Um, reason being, it's just overpowered. It's like, it's 2800 attack, special another dragon from your hand or graveyard, and that, those plays with Light Pulsar are just devastating, like you can't get around it. 
Uh, so I think to one is best because if you can get rid of red eyes, then your opponent's plays are way like not as broken. Then to one. Um, so I've been talking about wind ups a lot. I know they're really good. Some people talk about banning hunter, and I I I don't see it happening. Reason being is because I feel like the one card you should be hit. Like I'm a wind up player, and I know this. People and also people argue rat should get hit. But I think that Rat is not that broken if you don't have Zedmites. Zedmites are the broken card in the deck because Zedmites allow you to g loop. If you only have one Zedmite, then um, you don't have the opportunity to loop their hand. You can hit them for like two cards maximum. So I really feel like that is the best card in the deck. Uh, rats you can draw dead in the beginning of the game. Like if you're just holding two rats, you're like, well, that's useless. I can't do anything with them. Okay? And. If you somehow, like, you have three rats in your hand, even if you summon one of them, you can't loop anybody for more than one card because you're holding all your rats, okay? So I think Carriers and Mighty should get hit. Um, it Because you can run the deck without Hunter. I know it's like you don't really want to, but I'm just saying, like, you can still run the deck without Hunter. And I think Carriers and Mighty is just too broken because you can OTK someone, basically. If you bring out three Carriers and Mighties and then your last rat gets you, like, um another like the acid golem that's like 7500 attack so i really feel like um carries and mighty should get hit next i have skill drain skill drain should go down to one um if oppression comes back skill drain should go down to one as well um i just think skill drain wrecks a lot of decks and if i mean this isn't this is just in my opinion uh i think skill drain is just really overpowered right now next we have a really good card um in a deck that no one really plays too much of, but I still think is a really good card, World Tribute. Um, you get to see your opponent's hand, and you get to knock out every monster in your opponent's hand. Um, World Tribute, I think, is really, really, like, it, it's not really a fair card. Also, because Gravekeepers can run Steel to get back their monsters, even if they World Tribute any. Um, the next card I have is Miracle Fusion. Miracle Fusion is really overpowered because of the fact that it's not a cost to remove your heroes. So if you activate Miracle Fusion and activate Saw Morning, you can just activate another Miracle Fusion. And then if I Saw Morning that, then you can activate a third Miracle Fusion. And I just paid 4,000 life points for nothing. Okay, so since it's not a cost, I really feel like that's really broken. And with heroes, gonna, they're going to make a strong showing because of the Dark Hero and Super Poly is running around. Uh, I think Miracle Fusion should get hit, not Super Poly. The Super Poly, even though it's not neg negatable, it does require you to have a mo give up one of your monsters probably unless you're playing a mirror match one of your monsters and a card from your hand so if you don't play it right um you can't really win a miracle you don't really know you don't need to know how to play it right you just activate it and make your opponent do something super poly you have to know when to activate it best that's why it requires more skill miracle doesn't you just activate it and you're like oh you got anything too bad and the last card I have one is Rekindling. Uh, Rekindling is going to be really overpowered because of the Lovels. Um, if they, if you, I've play tested against it on Dual Network, and they can go berserk on you. Like first turn, get like I got Shooting Quasar, Librarian, Scrap Dragon, and something else in one turn because he had like more two, at least two Rekindlings. I was just like, are you serious? Like, this is ridiculous. So, rekindling down to one, I think is fair. Now, to two. I know I haven't hit in sectors yet, but I really feel like, you know, um, I know in the OCG, in sectors are doing really well. So, Dragonfly might be go to one, but I really like it at two because it still makes the deck balanced. Um, it makes it more balanced. So, in sectors at two, and, uh, Dragonfly and Hornet. Hornet because it's a vital piece, but you can st you still have... Uh, things like Ladybug and Hopper to get you to search you Hornet. So um, Hornet at two and Dragonfly at two, I think, are as fair as it's going to be. Um, if you really want to crush the deck, you could put it to one Dragonfly and Hornet to one. Um, but just to see more playability, I would leave it at two. Also at two, I have Rescue Rabbit um, mainly because uh, in the OCG, it's not as broken because they don't have Torgar from the Underworld. So Rescue Rabbit at 2, I think, is a balanced um, place to put it, okay? And with if Oppression comes back. A lot of these things, I feel like, are based off Oppression. Um, then you have, I have Light Pulsar to 2. 
Um, I know I hit dragons a lot already with Future Fusion and Red Eyes, but Light Pulsar is just really broken. Like it's, it if you torrential it, it brings something back. Like that's just that's pretty busted. Um, then I have two decks that have cards coming back. I have Bestiari for Gladiator Beast and Mizuki for Zombies. Um, zombies aren't really doing too much right now. Neither are Gladiator Beast. I mean, they have potential, so I really like to see them come back and make a showing. Bestiari at two really makes your um, plays a lot more interesting. Like makes your Gladiator Beast a lot more interesting and more aggressive. Because right now they really like Gladiator players are scared to bring out Bestiari because they're like I'm gonna get bottomless, especially with dragons running around and people are maining bottomless. So Bestiari is gonna get bottomless, and so now they have more like less fear of bringing out Bestiari and Mizuki to two just because zombies are really interesting. I, I like zombies, they're pretty cool. So I don't think it's gonna hurt to bring Mizuki back to two. And at three, I just have a random like Swords of Revealing Light because who's gonna play three swords? I don't know, whatever, someone will. All right, so that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I, I thought this out a decent amount, so let me know what you guys think. Um, then just random scribble stuff on paper. But yeah, this is what I think would be fair. Some of the ones like Skill Drain and Roll Tribute, I don't think are going to happen, but it'd just be nice to see, and, you know, so just to generate some um, discussion, all right? So let me know what you guys think in the comments, and um, all right, that's it. Thanks, guys. Susie Inferno signing out.